Might as well have a cream bun. <laughs> it's rock hard, isn't it? What's what? How, what's happening? In Peggy's walking it at the moment. And um, what walking our section? Yeah. I don't know overall. There's not there's not a lot of weights come out overall. What does? Where does my section run from? Uh, one just below the ferry. So the first peak below the ferry to the end. Ten pegs. Right. Yeah. So you've got Callum Dix on the end, seventy three. He's probably got four pounds. Okay. Most of the perch, I think, have pulled on. Right. And then after that, uh, best way is probably a couple of pounds, maybe. Maybe it depends what. I'm just working my way back now, so. I've got two and a half pounds. Two and a half? Yeah, doing all right. I've had a meal and about another five perch since you passed me. How many do you pay in a section? Sorry? How many do you pay in a section, Joe? Yeah. Uh, first, I think, is the first in section thing. I think they only pay more. Well, I, I don't know, to be honest. They might be paying more. I don't know how they're working it, because it's new sponsor this year, so I don't know how much prize money they can put in. So. Right. But they don't pay default, so... Well, they do pay default, rather. So if, he, if, if Callum's in the frame, spending, then then the section money will go down. And it's yeah, yeah. Down the I can't believe how hard it is. Yeah. I just I think it's just it's been that clear, and then I think earlier on when the, when it was cloudy, it wasn't so bad. But since the sun started coming through, I think yeah. everybody's struggling. Has there been any bream caught? I've heard one on pig one, and then. But more skimmers than bream. There've been a couple above you in the section, but not any size. A couple been lost. It's like a lottery, isn't it? Yeah. I think um, Nick Crooks had one broken. He was bust off by one. I think the young lad fishing Will Cannon had one on the feeder and pulled out. So. Right. So no, it's not. Right, let's see if there's any perch there now. Now I've had my, now I've had my uh, jam donuts. I feel quite satisfied now. <laughs> You're doing the section, aren't you? Yeah, I'm just going to do this and hopefully catch a couple more eels or a bream. It's all you can. Well, the bloodworm fish are that small. It's... I'm catching goods in that big. No, um, oh, what on this? Yeah, two little bits of worm. But if you notice that every time I catch, it's when I top my peg up. 
I get a run of fish and then nothing. Yeah. Sorry? To be honest with you, I've only fished a river once and that was three years ago. So I don't, I don't know, to be honest with you. Apparently it's not a brilliant area. Right, so um, Eastern Championships, I got an invite from DHP Publishing, which I was over the moon with, and to be honest with you, it was just, I was really looking forward to a change of scenery. Um, just a fantastic event, well sponsored by Hobgoblin Beer, um, and very prestigious as well, so looking forward to it. I drew peg 69, which spoke to a few people they said look you know it's not a brilliant area but 
it's quite an interesting event this because really you don't need a big weight to win it so in, in hindsight alright there's good and bad pegs but you have still got a chance if you latched into a bream or a few eels of actually winning the event or framing from a lot of the pegs so that's the that's the frame of mind I went with uh, um, obviously 69 wasn't a, a, didn't have a really lot of form um, and speaking to a few people it's quite a deep area so I went with the approach to fish bloodworm at uh, 13 meters where I balled it in um, using dynamite match black friends and match black a little bit of brown crumb loads of lean and soil um, and I've caught very little on that line and then I bait droppered worms and maggots at 14 meters and fished a lollipop of a three gram lollipop uh, and I've had a, a, a few other rigs I've had some running rigs as well so I can I run through my peg but the lollipop was by far the best line um, I, I think I caught two or three roach on the on the bloodworm line and then sacked it off because they were really small fish um, and just decided to go guns blazing for eels, skimmers and perch on the lollipop at 14 and 16 metres and I ended up having quite an enjoyable day to be honest with you I've bait dropped at 14 and I've had um, a skimmer and a few perch early on maybe at the halfway stage of the match that's why, when I went on it and then it reminded me a little bit of the Don where I've waited until the last hour to bait drop her at 16 metres and as soon as I've bait drop it at 16 metres I've had a good run of fish, I've had a few more eels, uh, one, small, one more small skimmer and a few more perch um, fishing double little bits of worm, double worm on the hook or fluoro maggot and I've ended up with £5.14 ounce, which has come second in my section Callum Dix has won the match off the end peg in my section, off, off 73 peg. Um, and I've won the section by default. And I've just missed framing as well. I've had 540 and I've needed £6.4 to frame uh, to come in the top six. I think I come seventh overall, seventh or eighth. So, yeah, it was a really good match. I really enjoyed it. Um, and... Uh, you know, it's given me the itch to be honest with you next year to, to go down and fish a few of the qualifiers and try and qualify. Um, so yeah, yeah, really enjoyed it. Nice for a change.